Hey Builders, Mark here coming to you from 2018 with the first video of the year and I thought I was going to get a little more downtime, maybe do some more fun videos, a little more creative writing, uh, brush up on the website because it's horrendously out of date, but of course, first week of 2018, we've got to have some major vulnerabilities and these are doozies. We've got Meltdown and Spectre, and these impact all modern CPU designs. Yikes. That's right. All modern CPU designs are impacted by these vulnerabilities. And first of all, I want to say a huge kudos to Yan Horn at Google's Project Zero and to the research teams he worked with on both of these vulnerabilities from their various institutes. Um, I will link to the research papers uh, below so that you can see who they are. These are technically impressive finds. Essentially, what both of these issues, and it's actually three separate CVEs, but roughly Spectre and Meltdown, what these both deal with is the way that modern CPUs predict um, what's going to happen so that they can speed up performance. Essentially, they try to do a whole bunch of work before it's actually asked for so that it's ready when you do ask for it. And what both of these issues do is they manipulate the timing of various instructions so that they can see protected information. So when there's a privileged process that has a bunch of secrets, these attacks let an unprivileged process take a look at those secrets. There's a lot more to it, um, obviously, but that's the, the high level and that's really what you need to know. Now the challenge here is that these aren't fixable in the CPUs themselves. This has to be an operating system level fix. So this is your Linuxes, your iOS, your Mac OS, um, your Windows, uh, Android. These types of um, operating systems need to issue the updates and the vendors and the organizations behind these systems are working diligently to get those updates ASAP. So make sure you have auto update turned on and install those patches when they come out because right now we have a high impact vulnerability, right? That unprivileged process can steal the secrets from the privileged process or at least get a peek at them. Um, but there's a currently a low probability of you being attacked by this method. So high impact, low probability, but that probability is creeping higher and higher and higher. This happens every time we have a major vulnerability with a public disclosure. It's just the nature of the cycle. As the information is more uh, spread further and further and further, um, it's more likely that uh, enterprising young cyber criminals are going to put this information into attack and launch a campaign that takes advantage of this vulnerability. So we have a disclosure of a high impact that's currently low, creeping up into the medium range, and it's going to be more and more likely as time goes on that you're going to be hit with this. But don't worry, don't panic, that's the worst thing you can do. Uh, make sure your endpoint systems uh, and your servers and all your systems have an automated way of updating that's built into most OSs these days. If you're working in the cloud, hopefully you've followed what I've been preaching for a few years and automated everything. So you're going to want to redeploy from an updated um, base image uh, or AMI, um, whatever uh, the flavor of the cloud environment you're working in. Um, stick to what we know, make sure you deploy the patch as soon as it's available and you'll be okay. Um, from the research side of things, dive into the academic papers uh, for Meltdown Inspector. They're technically fascinating. This is super impressive work uh, from Horn and the team. Um, it's really well worth uh, diving into um, to see uh, the complexities here and how they've manipulated them in order to expose this vulnerability. Um, but in the meantime, for everybody else, make sure auto updates on, um, stay tuned to your OS vendor, stay tuned to your cloud service providers, news channels to make sure that you get these latest updates. And in the meantime, grab your towel, don't panic.